So Cyberpunk has taken the gaming world by storm, expected to make a crazy impact, and no matter what way you look at it, the impact this game has made is unreal. Today we check out the news surrounding Cyberpunk 2077, recap on a few things dropped over the Christmas holiday, and then take a look at the first DLC marketing to the world of Cyberpunk. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Cyberpunk, depending on who you ask, is either an incredible game or is ruined by bugs. Me personally, I believe this game is incredible and I know most of you guys already know my opinion on this. Yet we are seeing more and more every day, I mean certain media sources clutching at straws trying to feed off the negativity CDPR's latest game dropped with. I mean some of the titles I have seen certain people create just for those clicks is on another level. Forbes, GameSpot and a few others are guilty of riding this game's not so great release. But these guys are kind of tame, as the other day people, I saw the most desperate attempt to belittle this game for clicks to a point I couldn't hold back in giving my opinion on it. Ok so Cyberpunk didn't release in the best state, it was released early and I think we all will agree on that. And on those older generation consoles for the most part it's unplayable and probably shouldn't have been released on them. But how are you going to release the game on the PS4 Pro and not the PS4, the Xbox One X and not the Xbox One. But people it is just a game, it's just a game with bugs. And although for some it hasn't lived up to certain expectations, it's no excuse to create titles like this. I mean, what the heck were Paste thinking? In fact, who the heck are Paste? With titles like this, it's no wonder no one knows who they are. And well guys, that is the point. The level in which people will sink to for clicks is unreal. The negativity Cyberpunk has received off the back of the game being buggy on release is crazy, but it's just another game to release in this state. I can remember hundreds of other games, many worse, but because they ain't massively in that limelight, these dopey companies and their daft employees ignore said games and only witch hunt things that will in turn generate themselves profit in clicks. Yes it's smart, but at the same time with titles like this, it's kinda sick. And I know people will be stating, well these news media sources, they have mouths to feed, they have families to look after, they need to do said things to generate themselves money, which I completely understand. But living off or praying for the demise of a game which basically supports many many other people in terms of devs and so much more, who also have mouths to feed and families to look after, in my opinion isn't the way to go about it. At the end of the day, Cyberpunk is a great great game, I'd say it's amazing, but let's be real here, it was never ever going to live up to the hype some people were putting on it. And well that's the problem, the more something is hyped up, the more backlash it gets upon release when said game doesn't live up to that hype. Whereas you have many people like me and you, we know exactly what kind of game this was going to be. And while the only disappointment I've had so far, is just that one sex scene with Panem. But hey, that's a different theme for a different video. But jokes aside, I do think this game is amazing, and with almost 300 hours in so far, and really just getting started in terms of other things I can do and plan to do, I think I know what I'm talking about. But yeah guys, Cyberpunk is seemingly riding out these negative opinions and that really hurts some people. So as bad as it sounds guys, expect more crazy articles like this one to pop up from time to time. People will nitpick the smallest of details, blow it out of proportion just for those clicks. Now on a more positive note, Cyberpunk has surpassed 13 million copies sold, which is a staggering figure. And when we get those Christmas sales stats too, I'd expect at least another few million on that, maybe even more. And yes I know some people ask for refunds and I agree with the option to be there for many folk who were unhappy with the game, but for the majority, the game is going great. And 13 million in sales kind of proves that, it is a great number. Now I know guys, this game still has a few bugs left to fix, many performance patches still needed, and I know many people will state this when we get onto the next point of this video which is DLC. And while CDPR have started their DLC marketing campaign with a new page on their site, which went live I believe earlier today or last night, which you guys can see on screen now. 
Now it states 3DLC starts in Night City in early 2021. I'd say expect something around February, March times, maybe even April, with maybe a small preview coming in January. Now I have slowed this footage down to see if I can spot anything interesting, but if I'm honest with you, it could be just gameplay from what's in the game now. I ain't too sure. But because we're seeing Johnny here, we're seeing ourselves, and we're seeing Judy, I wouldn't be surprised if both are involved somehow. Now we do have some information on DLC from what they've said in the past, quoting CDPR now. We'll first be kicking off our free DLC program in early 2021, just like with The Witcher 3. Expect an assortment of free DLC packs to begin hitting Night City, dropping a bunch of cool stuff that will inject even more life into the world of the dark future. Now, no specific details have been dropped by CDPR, but they have said they learned a lot from their work on both Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine for The Witcher, and that the upcoming DLCs will feature substantial story-driven content that provides players with tough choices through impactful narratives. Now I know, like I said people, some will mention the fact they need to fix their game before releasing DLCs, which you'd have a point, and I'd agree with you on that, but I don't think for the most part there are major issues right now stopping these smaller DLCs from being released, as what we're getting in terms of free DLC I don't feel will be crazy impactful on the game. I mean, if you remember how the smaller free DLCs worked with The Witcher, I don't think things will be that different here. Now I do feel a few more patches will release before any DLCs that will iron out some of the major issues folks are still having but beyond that I do feel these DLCs will start rolling out and while well, people if I'm honest I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us. Now if you'd like to check out this link to this page where updates might follow you'll find it linked down below. But yeah guys just a quick video on what's happening in the world of cyberpunk and until the next one i hope you enjoyed this guys also tell me your thoughts on the whole dlc situation where do you stand with it and then releasing dlcs while the game is still how it is let me know down below and on that note we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload and get my videos first turn on those notifications by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one